On today's podcast, we are welcoming Carol Camerino, who is the founder of Camerino Consulting. Carol is a multi-certified career coach and resume writer. Carol's background is in human resources and public relations. That's a powerful combo. She has the inside track on hiring and recruiting practices while also having the expertise on personal branding and messaging. 10 years ago, Carol launched her business to initially support women returning to paid employment following a significant pause or hiatus. Eventually, Carol's passion grew to helping job seekers at all levels, from new grads to former entrepreneurs to C-suite executives. In addition to supporting job seekers during these challenging times, Carol's getting ready to launch an online academy to expand her reach. Now, I personally have witnessed many smart and talented individuals who have taken a different journey outside of corporate America, only to find difficulty when seeking a path back in. This could be former entrepreneurs who are no longer running a business and are now looking for a job. This could be parents who took time off to raise their children. The examples are numerous. I call this untapped talent. Carol will help us understand this phenomenon and steps that can be taken if you are in these same shoes. Carol, welcome to the Business 360 podcast. Thanks, Rashab. I'm so happy to be on your podcast. Absolutely. So tell us about your consulting practice, Camarino Consulting, and who you primarily serve. Okay. Uh, I like to say I'm a full service career consultancy and my services are very bespoke. Uh, I don't have just a set menu that someone says, oh, this is, I wanna work with you. This is what it will look like. So my services range all the way from assessments, interest assessments and strengths assessments for people who are trying to figure out what do I wanna do or what kind of pivot should I make all the way through to C-suite executives who are, um, you know, stepping into a new role, looking for a new role at the, the height of their careers, maybe even positioning for board positions and anything in between. So it includes um, assessments, which I said, resume writing, career coaching, search strategy development, because so many people think that a job search means getting behind their computer and looking for jobs online. Online job boards can be part of a search, job search plan, but they can't be the entire plan. Um, I also do interview coaching. That's transformative for people regardless of what stage of career they're in. And um, so while I serve everybody from new grads through C-suite execs, I have a specialty in helping returners or on-rampers or second actors. There are all kinds of uh, terms used for that group, but basically it's the people who stepped away from their professional path for a variety of reasons. And now they are looking to return. They may, it may have always been in their plan that I, you know, I'm going to take this time off and then look forward to restarting. Or life may have intervened in a way that they need to get back to work um, for financial reasons and security reasons. Um, but I, I work with those people. And the thing is, Rashab, a lot of the traditional career advice that you find online actually can work against this group. So they need some different strategies. Um, and the exciting thing is what they've been doing outside of that traditional employment model has, they've been building skills, they've been learning about themselves, they've been um, having achievements and successes. And so the challenge is to translate those in a way that prospective employers can understand. And then they become amazing contrib contributors to a team or an organization. Many of the people that you serve have been out of a job for a long time and are overlooked. As we mentioned, we call these people untapped talent or on-rampers. What should we know about them and why are they untapped talent? I call, I like that term untapped talent because I think it speaks to the value that they represent and they are often overlooked because so many of the hiring structures uh, really are looking for people with linear career paths or mostly linear career paths. And of course, if people have stepped away, they have these breaks and, and sometimes, you know, they've worked outside of their area of expertise, part-time or whatever. What they represent for entrepreneurs is, um, especially as they're returning and they're, they're starting back in their professional path, they are open to learning 
they don't, you know, maybe they're looking for a project-based uh, role. And so for entrepreneurs who aren't necessarily ready to, to take somebody on full-time or make a long-term commitment, it can be a win-win. Um, it, it's interesting for, I, I had been working on a book and I interviewed an entrepreneur in writing this book who, who was using a lot of returners. Um, and, and I said, tell me, you know, why? why, why do you do that? And he said, they are my secret weapon. Uh, in exchange for my being flexible and allowing them to structure their time, I get such unbelievable work product. And so, um, you know, I no, don't tell my competitors, but that, <laughs> that's, um, that's why I use, use them. So the, the challenge is being able to understand and make the connection between what somebody did outside of the traditional workforce. And that when I'm working with clients, I'll say, that's our challenge. We have to speak in the language that the business world will understand. So if they say something like, I led a playground fund, you know, I, I helped create a new playground in my community. Okay, let's tease that apart. That could have meant writing grants to bring in $500,000. It could have meant presentations to municipal bodies. It could have meant uh, vetting uh, proposals and selecting an architect, marshalling volunteers, scheduling, project management. But that's what we have to tease out and really put in the value proposition for what the person offers.